Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Dynea 4.6.4 with Octave using Homebrew. So we will first install Homebrew and I will particularly focus on the new M1 Max. Then we use Brew to install Dynea and Octave. I will show you how to add the path and check whether your installation is working correctly. There are timestamps in the description below, so please feel free to skip ahead. If you spot any mistakes, please let me know so I can update the description. And before we start, also check out my blog on more stuff on these G models and Dynair. So let's go. Okay, now let us install Dynair with Octave. It is recommended to do so via Homebrew. Okay, so this tells you if you want to use Dynair, do not download this, but rather use run from Homebrew. So let's go to the page of Homebrew and they, they have a very nice command here. Simply copy this. Then you will need to open a terminal. Okay, and paste this command. If you are on an Intel Mac, this is all you need to do. If you are on a new M1 Mac, then you will need to do this with the Intel compatibility layer Rosetta 2. And for this, you will need to add Arch, hit enter. You need to enter your password to get admin access here. And double check whether this installs to user local. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, this might take a little while. And then homebrew is actually installed into user local bin brew. Now let's install Dynair with homebrew. So arch x 8664 user local bin brew and then install Dynair. And this will also install Octave. Okay, let's open Octave. And here it is. Then before you continue, um, it is recommended to install some additional toolboxes in Octave. So let's install this with package install slash forge IO statistics control structure and optim. And this might take a while. There will be some warnings, but you can simply ignore these. Okay, that's it. It finished correctly. Now here's the file browser and here's the current directory. And Dynair is installed to user local opt slash Dynair. Lip Dynair. And this is the very important MATLAB folder that you need to add. Again, if you go back, Homebrew actually tells you to get started with Dynair, you need to add this. Okay, so add path, copy, paste. And then let us check whether Dynair is running, yes. Now let us create a folder to put our mode files. Okay, so open a finder and maybe under documents, let's create a new folder, Dynair work. Very importantly, this has to be on your hard disk. Okay, so not on your iCloud or Dropbox storage folder or some other uh, network drive. Okay, okay, so let us go into the Dynair folder. Okay, so this was user local opt and there's Dynair, lib Dynair examples and let us copy example one to my documents folder. Okay, let's go back into so you can always check your current working directory with PWD. And now let's run Dynair example one. And there you go. Okay, that's it. Please leave your comments below. I will update the description of the video to correct any mistakes I made. Have a good one.